Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, I'm Deepal Mehta. I'm really honored to be in front of you to share a little bit of our thoughts on sensor to cloud uh, Wi-Fi connectivity and cloud connectivity for uh, low power sensor applications, IoT applications. Uh, my name is Deepal Mehta. I am Senior Director of Business Development at Innoface IoT. Uh, Innoface IoT is a fabulous semiconductor con uh, company focused on enabling IoT, low power IoT applications. Um, so I'll, I'll start by sharing a little bit about my company and the products we do, especially our collaboration with Nuaton, enabling ultra low power IoT applications uh, for smart home, industrial IoT, and other IoT applications. So Innoface IoT uh, is a privately held company, venture back. Uh, we got incorporated in 2022. Uh, we are a hundred plus uh, a startup company uh, focused on extreme low power smart wireless solutions for IoT markets. So our key focus uh, has been uh, extreme low power RF radio for Wi-Fi. Uh, and we build SOCs and system modules uh, for the wireless uh, IoT marketplace. We focus on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as a single chip solution, a single chip and a module providing both the multi-protocol wireless uh, solution. And then we work with partners like Nuaton and ISP vendors to build reference kits, application kits, uh, and an end-to-end -end solution so that customers can easily develop their IoT applications and deploy it uh, with quick time to market. Our offices, our uh, headquarters are in San Jose, and then we have development centers in San Diego, Sweden, and Bangalore, India. We are very proud to have a very innovative product uh, with 100 plus patents uh, uh, on the RF technology, and then we've taken it a step forward in. Uh, implementing system level, system level power optimizations and cloud connectivity, which is optimized again for power. And we're proud to be winners of a lot of industry awards and accolades uh, for the work that we've done so far. So the, the reason we picked Wi-Fi is it's ubiquitous, as you know, right? So Wi-Fi is in laptops, it's in cell phones, but then now in the IoT world, we see a lot of uh, deployment of Wi-Fi enabled IoT devices, which need battery power devices. So if you look at the volumes, you know, multi-billion unit volume for Wi-Fi shipments and specifically for smart homes, uh, we're seeing a lot of migration to IP based uh, solutions where Wi-Fi is definitely one of the, the key uh, areas that people are focusing on. So we see 50% of connected home devices to be IP based and that could be Wi-Fi. So Today, if you look at the pain points, you know, there are definitely low power solutions like Bluetooth and Zigbee. But if you look at the throughput requirements of the next generation IoT devices, the firmware upgrade required, the AI enablement of IoT devices, we see the move towards uh, Wi-Fi that would solve a lot of the problems. Again, there is a lot of intermediate gateways required if you are implementing Bluetooth or Zigbee based IoT devices. But if you are enabling Wi-Fi based IoT devices, since access point is everywhere, you can get direct cloud connectivity without any intermediate gateway cost. So Wi-Fi definitely is the technology to focus on. Uh, and as you go into the future, you will have uh, emerging technologies like Matter for interoperability, which is again based on IP, uh, TCP IP stack, which again, Wi-Fi is the base layer, which would make it happen. So by working on Wi-Fi, we enable that's the uh, we can realize the promise of IoT. We can get a lot of throughput for advanced use cases like video, lossless audio, and AI-enabled IoT devices. And for low-power sensors, you can get a lot, 10-plus uh, year battery life uh, through the solution that we are implementing, which I'll go through, uh, which I'll pretty much uh, trying to do is having a sensor life equal to the device life, right? So battery life equal to the life of the sensor. So that's kind of the thrust uh, that we're focusing on. Uh, in terms of the target applications that we're going for, this shouldn't be any uh, news to people, but smart home where you have video applications like video cameras, door locks, video doorbells, 
but also a lot of the smart home appliances, uh, wearables, uh, things like that, uh, that you see um, uh, in the smart home uh, applications. Uh, that's uh, what we focus on. Uh, the other key application is industrial IoT. Um, and if, again, realizing the promise of IoT in the industrial 4.0 world, where your vibration sensors, humidity sensors, temperature sensors, not only just having the sensors connected to the internet, uh, but also doing AI at the edge, like predictive maintenance, uh, and then asset tracking are some of the use cases that uh, we enable. Uh, and then if you go to some of the other emerging use cases are in smart healthcare, where you're doing a lot of patient monitoring and tracking, asset tracking, uh, home use case, there are a lot of pet tracking in terms of tracking the cats or the dogs, uh, as well as in the retail space, monitoring the, the customers walking in, the traffic, or what they are doing, the inventory management on the shelf, things like that. So these are the target applications that we, we are focused on enabling. So the, the need of the market is, uh, you know, as I said, the, this need to do, go towards Wi-Fi, but Wi-Fi inherently is very power hungry. So people want Wi-Fi, but they want it at Bluetooth power levels, right? So that's the, the market problem statement. Bluetooth is low power, but it doesn't have the right protocol stack. It's not uh, migratable towards the matter protocol and the interoperability required without the, the gateway uh, cost added, right? So that's one of the, the requirements. The other one is the direct to cloud co connectivity. As I said, you know, you want ease of deployment. So you, you want IoT sensors, but then you want to be easily deployed without adding gateway boxes to do Bluetooth to Wi-Fi or Zigbee to Wi-Fi or Zigbee to Ethernet kind of connectivity to the internet. And the third thing is they want ease of provisioning and ease of deployment, right? So if you have Wi-Fi, uh, uh, but then if you want to provision the Wi-Fi, you, you don't want to have wired approach to provision it. So you want Bluetooth or other wireless uh, channel available to provision your Wi-Fi. So what we've done is we've looked at the market needs and come up with a solution which is based on our Teleria platform, which is very low power radio architecture to, to enable customers to have Wi-Fi Bluetooth power levels and uh, overcome the need for a gateway solution and then provide an overall cloud connectivity so that they can easily deploy uh, their solutions in the marketplace. Uh, with rapid time to market. So the products that we offer are the SOCs. Uh, these are the, the basic building blocks uh, that have advanced security features. Uh, we have evaluation boards around the SOC as well as the software stack and the cloud connectivity uh, stack that we have, which is Azure and uh, AWS certified. Uh, so for customers who can take the SOC, build their RF uh, Wi-Fi solutions around it, they can go that path. There are customers who want quicker time to market. We provide complete integrated modules with the Wi-Fi Bluetooth solution, with the antenna, with the RF bomb around the Wi-Fi Bluetooth SOC, which are globally uh, regulatory certified. So the customers can take the module, put it next to the Nuoton chip, build a system solution and quickly deploy uh, their IoT applications for marketplace. So we offer both kind of products depending on the customer choice. Uh, uh, they can go either route. So in terms of what's unique and different that uh, we're focusing on or the value proposition that we bring is the ultra low power Wi-Fi, right? So as I said, we provide 10 plus years of battery life for sensor to cloud connectivity for low power sensors like occupancy sensors or vibration sensors. But for video camera applications where video is a little bit more power hungry, we still offer one plus year of battery life, uh, which is two to four X of what you can get in today's solution, which is usually three to six months only. So we uh, offer the lowest transmit power, which is what the sensor application needs. Uh, you want the, mostly the sensors are transmitting to the cloud and by having it the lower it's, uh, giving you right away the, uh, the 2x uh, power reduction. But then we also do optimization at the system level, like going into the sleep mode, doing a keep alive with the cloud in a power manage mode, waking up the microcontroller when only it's required or it could go down to sleep, doing smart scanning, uh, 
so that those are the system level ways of conserving power uh, that we do. Uh, there's a uh, cost of ownership. So it's not just the cost of the semiconductor or the system solution you get, but it's the provisioning of the software security that's built into the NUA on chip and our chip to combinedly provide a very secured boot and secured firmware updates. Uh, and then having an ecosystem that allows you to get the best uh, acquisition cost uh, and interoperability between the various players. Uh, and then from the time to market perspective, as I said, we have the modules which are regulatory approved, but then we uh, work with partners like Nuoton to have a market ready solution of the MCU plus the Teleria to Wi Fi Bluetooth solution with the cloud software and the certification, things like that. For a video, Applications we work with ISPs like Ingenic, Omnivision, Umbrella to have a complete reference design which is power optimized and uh, have the solution available for worldwide deployment. Uh, if you look at uh, the three uh, quadrants that I mentioned, there are other technologies like Bluetooth and Zigbee that meet that too. But what the Wi Fi Bluetooth combo solution offers is the scalable features and performance. If you want to go to video, you can do 2K cameras with the same solution. Uh, you can enable AI at the edge, which is very important nowadays, rather than sending all the data to the cloud and letting the cloud do the AI uh, inference. We can, because the battery life uh, is quite long and the Wi Fi power and the system level power is low, you could add. Uh, new features like AI right at the device edge. So you could do predictive maintenance at the edge or you could do object detection at the edge uh, and which gives you low latency, uh, higher performance uh, IoT applications. And then uh, you can also move to next generation features like Matter, which is very important for smart home applications. So in terms of the go-to-market strategy, as I uh, mentioned, or I can summarize, is we work with partners like Nuoton to build system-level modules. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll show some of the examples uh, soon. Uh, we build reference designs with a complete SDK integration between the MCU and the Teleria 2. Uh, we do it for the low-power applications. We do it for the camera applications, depending on the application that uh, you're looking for. And then we offer a complete certification, be it Wi-Fi, Bluetooth compliance, or global regulatory certification, or Azure, or cloud stack, uh, cloud partner certification, or for that matter, even matter certification. And then we work with ODMs and OEMs uh, in Taiwan, in China, world over, so that you can get high volume manufacturing options also. Uh, so not only you can develop your software, design your product and application, but you can quickly deploy it in high volume. Uh, to your end customers. So these are some of the building blocks that we have besides the chip and the module. One is the evaluation kit, and I can uh, show you here. So this is the evaluation kit that we have, which is either standalone or Adreno compatible. Uh, it can have various antenna options. Either you can use the PCB antenna, you can use external antenna or ceramic antenna. It has built-in sensors like the Bosch pressure sensor, so you can do a sensor to cloud evaluation and application development. Uh, we uh, have a you know quick application stack and a demo applications available, so you can uh, do an end-to-end -end, uh, use case. Uh, the support for AT command set uh, as well as the GCC-based development environment, uh, so that you can do your own application development also. So this is evaluation kit is available. So you can check out the performance. You can check out the power. Uh, you can see the application uh, fit of this uh, solution to your uh, end needs. And then you can easily get it through worldwide distribution from Milesar and Richardson RFPD. The, the next one is the one that we've worked uh, with Nuaton. Uh, it's a complete low power uh, sensor to cloud uh, reference kit. Uh, which uses Novaton M252 and the Teleria uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth solution. It has the support to work with, uh, uh, you know, sleepy sensors. So if the data isn't uh, coming all the time, you know, we have a power optimized way of working with sleepy sensors. So, you know, waking up when the sensor is about to have the the data be transmitted. Once we transmit the data, we go to sleep. We can put the MCU in the sleep mode also. 
We have connectivity to various kinds of sensors. I've shown some of the sensors uh, here, like uh, the temperature sensor, pressure sensor, uh, PIR sensor. But then there's also a Grove I2C uh, connector for extra uh, scalability for various sensors. Uh, this kit comes with an end-to-end -end software stack with a messaging layer, MQTT uh, to connect to the clouds. It has the security features for application security, uh, as well as the TLS security built in. And it gives you a complete Wi-Fi to uh, cloud connectivity, uh, including provisioning the Wi-Fi through Bluetooth um, with some demo applications. So you can use this as a starting point to build your designs based on Nuaton plus Teleria, uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth solution. Uh, we have another one which is based on uh, more recent uh, Nuaton M2354 solution. Again, that is paired with our Teleria 2. Uh, this is, again, a ready-to-use uh, reference solution that you can use to uh, connect your uh, sensors through Wi-Fi, through the Nuaton chip for varied uh, sensor interfaces, the availability. There's an SDK integration of the Nuaton software SDK with our Teleria to Wi-Fi Bluetooth SDK. And to a end solution for the cloud that you can start and quickly deploy your solutions. Uh, this is uh, another reference kit that uh, we have built. Uh, this is again for the video use case. Uh, this has the Ingenic T31 uh, video processor or the image signal processor mapped with the Teleria 2 uh, uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip. This is a complete camera reference design, which gives you one plus year battery life, end-to-end, -end, again, connectivity to the cloud uh, and demonstration of the low power. So this, again, you can use to build your video camera solution. So what we've done is not only provide a 10 plus year battery life sensor solutions for low power sensors, but even for higher performance use case like video streaming, uh, up to 2K resolution cameras is what the solution can offer. Again, through noisy environments, the, the solution is optimized so that you get consistent performance, good quality video image, and is integrated with the ISP's uh, Linux host environment. So again, end-to-end -end solution, which meets uh, need of most of the video camera uh, requirements that you may have. And this is a little bit more in detail, but this is how we uh, get the one plus year battery life in the power uh, optimized video, uh, video application that we have a dual stack approach. The Teleria 2 Wi-Fi Bluetooth solution has an integrated ARM controller where we can offload the TCP IP stack as well as the cloud connectivity stack running on Teleria 2. So in the camera use case, when most of the time the PIR sensor doesn't have any uh, activity that they're showing, the Teleria 2 mention, maintains the cloud connectivity using the integrated ARM controller, while the power-hungry ISP is totally powered down. When the PIR sensor wakes up, uh, uh, if the, there's some detection, uh, then the Teleria 2 will wake up the ISP and then it will do the object detection. If it's a false alert, again, it will go back to sleep. If it's a real human detection or something that needs to be recorded, then they'll record stream it and then again go back to sleep. So we've got this end-to-end -end solution working with multiple ISPs like Ingenic, Omnivision, Umbrella to allow you to have a uh, one plus year battery life solution. Again, software SDK integration with the cloud stack, connectivity to Amazon, connectivity to Microsoft Azure, or the cloud of your choice uh, through the standard messaging layer. This shows the end-to-end -end connectivity uh, software that we have. So from all the way from the sensor on the left side, talking to the Teleria to Wi-Fi Bluetooth uh, solution, uh, you could use either the GPIOs and the ADCs in Teleria 2, or you can uh, work uh, with Nuaton's extensive peripheral interface uh, to get the sensor input. But the Teleria 2 maintains the cloud connectivity, the TCP IP stack connecting to the cloud. On the cloud side, you can have a cloud software. Uh, we do have demo software, but that, that's where you have the command and control. That's where you manage the devices, the monitor devices, do the firmware updates. All that happens on the cloud side, while Teleria 2 main, maintains the IoT level application software. 
and connectivity through secure uh, mechanisms uh, using Nuoton chips and our chip uh, together. So again, having an end-to-end -end solution allows you to build your end applications much faster and deploy it to the marketplace. This again shows a little bit of the software architecture. You could use Teleria 2 in a self-hosted mode if you have limited IO needs of talking to the sensor by using the integrated ARM controller in the Teleria 2. But in the most cases, you, you could pair up with a MCU like a Nuaton M252 or a Nuaton 2354. Uh, there is a complete software SDK integration of how the Nuaton chip talks to the Teleria 2 either through the AT command set or through the happy interface that we built, which makes it very easy, a C library, which is very portable from one Nuaton platform to another. So again, uh, with the RTOS and end-to-end -end solution, that's possible. And same way for camera applications, we have Linux embedded host, uh, Linux platform integrated with uh, the Teleria 2 SDK. This kind of shows a little bit more in detail, the software stack. So the lower portion is the, the one in the orange is the hardware with integrated ARM controller with the crypto accelerators for security and the coprocessors for doing the Wi-Fi Bluetooth function. On the top of it is the software stack that where we run the TCP IP stack, the storage interfaces, the security interfaces, uh, but also the messaging layer of uh, talking to the cloud. And then on top of that, any user application. The user application could either run on Teleria 2 or it could run on the host, as we'll see in the next uh, diagram. This is the software diagram view of how the end-to-end -end system works, where the host application could run on the MCU, talk to the Teleria 2 using the UART, SPR, or SDIO interface, uh, whichever way is the, your choice, either through the happy interface or through the AT command set. And so this end-to-end -end, uh, SDK solution is available to you uh, as a starting point uh, using some of the platforms that I mentioned earlier, the reference kits. So uh, the use of this solution has enabled us to have customers in a broad variety of market segments, uh, the target segments that I started uh, the presentation with. So battery-powered cameras for home security or video doorbells, video cameras, or maybe it re retail space, any camera application or image uh, capturing application uh, is where you want the Wi-Fi connectivity, the high throughput and the cloud connectivity to stream the, the video recorded or the image captured to the cloud. And then in the smart home applications, we have publicly mentioned Sansa blind controller as an application where you have a blind controller with Wi-Fi built in using our solution, directly connecting to the Amazon cloud and to an Android app where you could control the, the functions of the blind. And there are other applications like smart uh, garage door openers or smart buttons that can be used in the smart home uh, space. And then in the industrial IoT space, uh, with customers doing machine monitoring, vibration sensing, boiler control, asset tracking, a lot of the applications. So we not only have the reference solutions uh, working with partners like Nuoton, but then we have customers who have, are either in production or close to production. And we look forward to working with a lot of the other customers who have interest. And together with Nuoton, we can meet the needs in any of the segments. So I'll summarize uh, this by saying, you know, th the time has come to cut the cord, have uh, battery powered Wi-Fi based wireless IoT applications with significant uh, battery life, 10 plus years battery life. So essentially you don't need to worry about changing the batteries for IoT applications, make it very easy to use, easy to deploy. You can get the performance of Wi-Fi for the emerging applications. You have ease of cloud connectivity, which is what uh, people need uh, today, uh, either through your Android apps or to the cloud services have your IoT applications end-to-end -end working and deployed. And more importantly, doing it quickly, right? You don't want to wait 12 to 18 months to develop your application deploy. You want to be able to do in three to six months. So that's what we are focused on. That's what we are excited about. And that's what we look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you very much for the opportunity and uh, appreciate your time and look forward to working with you. Thank you.